Hi, hi, and welcome to Strap a Watch, Michael Knapp, Michael Knapp Leather. Got a real treat for you guys tonight. Um, well, whenever you guys are going to be watching this, it could be morning or day or whatever. But it is Friday, and I am getting ready to do the drawing. And we're going to have a little helper coming in here in a minute. She's just getting out of the tubby. It's my, my two-year-old granddaughter my wife's bringing her and we get her on uh, every other Friday night so I'm filming this Friday uh, what did I say it was the 20 something 20 something 21st I think it was the 21st Friday the 21st 8 o'clock so the drawing will probably be here in about the next 10 15 minutes so I got a little bit of time thought I'd shoot the intro you're also today a little bit of a treat Oh man, Grand Seiko, my Grand Seiko SBGA 375. I've showcased it before with a alligator, a blue alligator strap I made. But today I made a very simple, easy shell cordovan strap, blue shell cordovan strap. Turned out really gorgeous thin, comfortable, easy to make. You're gonna see me hand make this on today's episode as well. So you guys stick around because in a little bit here, we're gonna be doing the drawing. Uh, so right after the intro, you're gonna be watching me hand make the strap and intermittently we'll be showing uh, Lillian, my granddaughter, pulling the names out of the hat for the winners of two mugs and the watch. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for joining me today on Strap a Watch. Very excited about this show. And you can see here's the Shell Cordovan that I got that deep blue from Rocky Mountain Leather. And it is a Japanese shell cordovan. So in keeping with the Japanese theme of the Grand Seiko, um, I, I decided to go ahead and get this leather. It's, it's the closest I could find that's gonna try and match this dial. What a unique midnight blue dial, they call it from Grand Seiko. And at different lighting conditions, boy, does it change uh, from you know a blue almost to a purpley to black. And yes, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Ring the bell notification and hit the like button if you like this show. But that's to help me also grow this channel. I'm still growing the channel. And you're going to be seeing me hand make this strap. I've never made one like this. It's an unlined strap. All of my straps typically are lined straps, hand stitch perimeters. So this is not a hand stitch perimeter. It's just got... Um, stitching to hold down where you fold over for securing the quick release lug pins in this case of mine i always put quick release lug pins in and you saw me just there i was you know trying to find the best match of the color of the leather to match the dial so that's what i was just doing right there and i'm getting ready here and cutting out the leather and boy, is this leather beautiful. Just gorgeous. So here's right off of Grand Seiko's website, SBGA375. That is my watch. I actually won this watch in a bidding frenzy on eBay. It was in pristine condition. I paid $3,200 for this watch. I believe it was right around there. Um, it was a, I mean, it was a bidding war. And uh, so I felt like I got a really good deal on a $5,200 retail watch, $2,000 less. You can't beat that. And I love this watch. So there's the Barton quick release lug pins that I strictly use. And this is a 19 millimeter lug width. So it's kind of a unique lug width, really. There's not many 19s out there. And so you can see there's the prong that protrudes out of that little small punch that I put in there. But these are the ones that I don't like. Here's the strap. I don't like that stitching that comes out um, 
of the leather. I, I like stitching within the leather, the strap itself. And, you know, I've never done one unlined like this. And boy, how comfortable it is. I can't wait till you guys see the final product. Well, listen, I, I had a friend over the other day, and we were getting to talking about this channel and YouTube. He was visiting the studio and was really impressed with all of the gear that I have, all the leather tools. And he asked me, he said, you know, do you have a favorite YouTube channel? And I, I asked, well, you mean YouTube channel or watch channel? Because, I mean, I, got, I watch a lot of YouTubers. And he said, well, both. And I said, well, hands down, my favorite YouTube channel is Jay Leno's Garage. But my favorite watch channel is right here. It's called the Timeless Watch. The Timeless Watch Channel. The Timeless Watch Channel. And I've been watching this uh, since really I started. He's only been out a, a couple, I think, few months earlier than I have. But he's already coming up on 10,000 subscribers and he's never come out and said his name on the show, so I do know his name. We've been in contact with each other via email a few times, and I gotta tell you, if you haven't checked out his channel, please do so. It's an awesome show. His insights and knowledge and his collection is sick. I mean, it is a man's man collection. And when I mean sick, I mean awesome. He really knows his watches, and um, he's just, bluntly honest man that I dig that the most and he's an old rocker I mean I, I I know I've listened to his music I found out you know the band he was in and again I'm not gonna say it but man it's awesome stuff I hope someday he comes out and talks about it but listen he just did an episode about the coronavirus and Rolex watches and the, and the bubble and, and all of that. And man, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave a link to his channel and to that episode. And check it out. Some just tremendous insights and, and things I did not know. And uh, you're going to learn a lot. And just a great, great show. So we're getting ready here. I'm, you know doing the doing the strap this is how I'm going to be doing the stitching you're going to see me here where I'm punching these holes but I'm getting ready here to turn things over where my granddaughter is going to come in and we're going to do the drawing okay everybody you get a special treat about picking the names out of the hat look see this hat this is my two-year-old, 27-month-old granddaughter, Lily. Here, go see puppy. Lily, what you're going to do, baby? Come here. You're going to pull a name out of there the hat. Go. Sit down. There you go. See the pieces yeah. of paper? So we've got two mugs, and again, the watch. And I've got everybody's names down here. And what I did is I cut them up. They're all in the hat. Pretty cool, huh, baby? So you ready? You pull out a piece of paper. Okay, just one piece of paper. All right, so let me get it. And the winner of one of the mugs, Mr. Jack Daniels. I'm sure that's your real name. Jack Daniels, all right? Got a mug. Very cool. All right, Lily. Another piece of paper. Okay. Dan Baldwin. You already have a mug, brother. You already have a mug, but you're going to get another mug. One for you, one for your wife now. Very cool. And let's mix them up. This is for the watch. You ready, Lily? Pull out another piece of paper. All right. Mr. John Bell is the winner of the watch. It is exactly quarter after eight on Friday. I told you guys I'd get this done on Friday about eight o'clock. And to my word, that's what we're doing. And uh, it'll be on tomorrow night's show. But John, congratulations. You're the winner of the watch. Thanks, Lily. Thank you. Say hi to the camera. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, how cool was that? And again, congratulations to Jack Daniels. 
Dan Baldwin, winners of the mugs, and Mr. John Bell, who is out of the UK for winning the watch. He's left several comments and kind of gotten to know him a little bit. And so just really cool, really cool. And you know, one of the reasons I wanted to do it like that was I've been involved in a number of these kind of giveaway type of things on even YouTube and they never come out and say who won, you know? And I thought, let's do it for real in front of everybody. All the names that put in for it were in that hat and then had Lily draw them out and mix them up so you know it's, it was totally a random thing I can't remember exactly how many I wanted to say it was right around 30 30 names so you know one in 30 chance that was pretty good so pretty cool and I'm just so happy I did it that way so that everything is on the up and up you know and I know I'll end up being doing future giveaways so just to show you guys when I do a giveaway, it's going to be a real kind of a giveaway. So it's not me saying I'm giving something away and then, you know, you never hear from the guy. You don't even know if he actually gave the watch away or not. So, it's you know. But there's a final product on my wrist. Is that sleek and cool and minimalist or what, man? I totally dig it. I've never made a strap like this before. I've seen them. And again, you can see the, how the stitching is, that um, it just very minimalistic look and it's not coming over the edges, which is what I, again, I don't like. Um, I just, I don't like that look at all. So listen, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this show. Please subscribe if you haven't. God bless you all. And until next time, keep on ticking. <music>